Today, we, the family and friends of Emily and Ben, join together to witness the wedding ceremony that begins their marriage. And what a privilege for all of us to be a part of something that we are convinced has such a promising future. I think there are three reasons for this. The first is obvious. Emily and Ben, and ben both have a deep and sincere love for each other. Uh, second, they wanted to begin this marriage with God's loving hand. And third, comes from, comes from their parents who have raised them so graciously and so faithfully. And so, moms and dads, thank you for what you have done in their lives. And so now I ask this question, who presents Emily to Ben in marriage? Her mother and I. And I just, right now, I want you to just savor these people that are here for you. And just look around. Just catch their eyes. <laughs> these are the friends and family that so love you, that have invested years of their lives into you, and who will travel this journey with you. And I hope that you can savor that today that today you've got great people around you. And that's what is so important to a great marriage. And so I want to talk about this, why you, uh, how you both feel about each other. And Ben, I'm going to start with you. Uh, these were words that you wrote uh, to Emily, or about Emily. And uh, so I just want to, I'm now going to publicly share these. I hope you're okay with this. Because it's right. pretty amazing here. Yeah. Uh, in five minutes flat, there was this instant connection. That's Ben. Just in five, just boom, it happened. This fun-loving personality, this quippy banter, and an unwillingness to kiss you. Okay, so that's really impressive. And uh, way to go, Emily. You were awesome. And uh, you were 24 at the time, Ben. And so getting a kiss from Emily was your number one priority in life. And that's a man who knows his priorities. I'm so humbled. Uh, Emily has always been your muse. Emily, I want you to know that. that for Ben, you inspire him to do more with himself. In fact, when you first started dating, Ben decided that it wasn't a good idea for him to live with his parents. <laughs> okay, so I just thought that was probably a good move, Ben. Okay, it's, it's not an attractive quality. All right. <laughs> uh, but you then uh, moved into the same neighborhood together, and then you guys were seeing each other a lot. And it just changed everything, didn't you? Uh, Emily, you inspired him to be a good man, to be a better man. That you give him strength and encouragement. He said that about you. That you've had a lot of big events in your life. You got engaged. You moved to New York. You changed jobs. You experienced the passing of your mom. And you shared that journey together. And it was very powerful. And it knitted your hearts together. And Emily, you have been there for me. And so your beauty is not only physical, but it is your character and it is your soul. Ben's impressed with your tenacity for fun, your outgoing nature, your smart, uh, that you are looking forward to raising a family together. And that, I love this line. He said, if I had to do it all over again, I would choose Emily every time. And Emily, I believe this about Ben, that every day of your marriage, you will choose him. Your soul dates will be to Well, Ben, Emily had some words for you. And uh, again, beautiful words. I knew I wanted to be Ben's wife since very early in our relationship. I felt so in sync, a true kindred spirit. We so long for that soulmate. And uh, to find that kindred spirit. There were sparks undeniable 
Obviously, not enough to give in to a kiss early, but she, she was strong. You make her heart skip a beat. She loves that English accent. Everything is cooler and hotter with an English accent. Yeah. Right? People are smarter. IQ goes up like 20 points. It's so irritating. That's true. Your spunk and joy is infectious. I promise you, it will, you will lean on that spunk and joy so often in your marriage. What I love was when I was reading Emily's letter about you, is the whole tone turned. She writes this fun stuff, stuff she, she loves about you, and then she just gets real deep. She says that instant connection very quickly developed into something much more as he revealed his character. And Ben, that's, marriages are made from character. Ben loves deeply. Ben, you love deeply. You are devoted, a thoughtful person. Uh, you create a freedom to love with abandon, and you love with abandon. You pour yourself into the relationship. She, she wrote this, I, I, this is so amazing, that you hold her heart in your hands. That you care for wounds. You consider needs. Encourage relationships with loved ones and the Lord. And you allow Emily to be her true self. You keep a safe space to be vulnerable. And all the experiences that you've had, the hardships and the challenges, she sees you as her best friend, her true love, her very favorite person in the world. And as you think about these words and as we express them here in this ceremony, that these will become your words as you go in your marriage.